So a massive matchup is about to take place in the Madrid Sevens, that being New Zealand versus Fiji. These two sides have had some awesome matches over the years. This year, New Zealand having a lot more success when it comes to those important fixtures, whereas Fiji, they've been struggling. They are yet to get themselves a gold medal, and a majority of the time in the later part of the season, when Fiji haven't succeeded, that is when New Zealand have. So I'm very curious to see how this match goes. But in this preview, we're going to be looking through at the squads as the two lineups are not yet announced for who is going to be playing in this contest. The previous fixtures for them in the last leg of the sevens, that being Singapore, and then also at the end of prediction, who we think will win this match. But we will start with the squads. First of all, the Fijians. Their squad, it was announced a little while ago. Some great players in there, and of course a massive return of Jerry Tuwine. Now they are without the Kunarabili, they are without Talatholo, no Bukayaro, no Kiminelli Rasaku. So that's a pretty big hole that the Fijians have to now try and fill. But having Jerry Tuwai back, I'm sure, will be very helpful. But their whole squad, Sivumothan Othangi, Jeremiah Matana, Viliami Naikalsa, Sulianu Vuli Vuli, Tira Walangi, Tario Tamani, him working alongside Jerry Tuwai is going to be absolutely awesome. Of course, we know what kind of impact that man can have when he starts or comes off the bench. I feel like him and Jerry Tuwai will work very nicely together. YC and Natungu, Elakimi Torosi, Georgi Nasova, Ponipati Lognamasi, Ioanni Teba, Sakiusa Sanila, and then also Vuivewa Nadovalo. Now, of course, that is a 14-man squad. Not all of those players can actually take part in this contest but we have a fair idea who it could be who has taken to the field and I'd assume at least one of those names has to either be Tuai or Tamani but in terms of the key players for the Fijians I think that those two men that I've already mentioned are going to be crucial alongside them Ponipati Lognamasi he's a great mix of size and speed and up against New Zealand I feel like he could cause them few problems and then also I see in Natungu I think is another player for the Fijians could do quite well in this match for New Zealand. They are the gold medal champs at the moment. They were able to get themselves the win last leg up against the Irish in the final, 17 points to 14. But their squad, it is as follows. Leroy Carter, Dylan Collier, who will be the captain for the Kiwis, to play a Cook Savage, Scott Curry, Sam Dixon, Brady Rush, Andrew Newstub, Moses Leo, Tony Nashu, Akulia Rockley Sower, Regan Weir, Joe Weber, and also Cody Vice. So they have got a lot of returns for New Zealand. Whereas for Fiji, they have got a lot of exclusions. Whereas New Zealand, we get to see Rokali Soa back. We get to see Dixon back into the side as well. And I feel like it's going to be a very well-rounded side for New Zealand. And this competition now, key players, Leroy Carter's pace and aggression always matches quite nicely with the flying Fijians. Akulia Rokali Soa, the way that that man skips through a gap and creates opportunities for his side. It's definitely going to help them in this game up against what will be a bit of an adjustment period for Fiji. We've got to remember, I mentioned four names. Three of those players were actually playing together in Singapore, and now they have to remake those new adjustments, see whether or not they can get it right. And I just realized I didn't even mention Manueli Maisa more. There's another player for Fiji who they don't have available. And this game, I think that New Zealand... They'll have a little bit of an advantage early on in this match, but it's whether or not Fiji can gel throughout that second half. We know that they are never out of a contest. We've seen it many times over when they've been down by two or three tries and they've come back to win the game. But I don't think New Zealand will take them very lightly here. In terms of the previous fixtures, like I mentioned, Singapore Sevens, we saw New Zealand crowned as the champions after beating the Irish in the final. They were also able to beat the Australians in the semis and then the USA in the quarterfinals, whereas for the Fijians, they did actually lose to the USA in the group stage, 33 points to 14. They then lost to Great Britain the game after that, 19 points to 14. And I'll be honest, that's something that we didn't really anticipate to see from Fiji. It seemed to be that they were leaving their best players off the field for too long throughout those games. I mean, we saw it with Torrio Tamani in terms of the fact that give him about four minutes at the end of the game to try and turn it around and most of the time we saw the Fijians fire back but it just wasn't enough with the remaining time they were able to beat Ireland in their group stage which will give them just a little bit of confidence seeing as those two sides are also going to go head-to-head -head throughout Paul B in this comp 
they were able to beat Canada and they were able to beat Spain. So in the end, they did finish ninth, which was their lowest ever finish in Singapore. They had never missed out on a quarter final till the last leg of the seven. So if momentum something to go off, you're looking at the defending chance versus a side that really should be up there but haven't been putting results together in their last few fixtures. But the good news is, the sevens, it can change in an instant. We've got a new week. We've got a new comp. And this one is the massively important one. The Fijians in the biggest occasions are normally a side that are able to step up. But I'm still going to say New Zealand to get themselves the win. And I'm going to say New Zealand win it 26 points to seven. Now that seems pretty harsh, but I'm hoping that I slightly jinx Fiji and they come out firing. They do what a lot of people know that they can, and that is start off well in this competition in Madrid. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one in New Zealand currently looking pretty well rounded. But we are going to be covering the game on the channel for the commentary, so be sure to tune in. It is starting at 12.14 a.m. New Zealand time on Saturday morning. Although when this video comes out, I believe that will only be a few hours away to so just after midnight, and it's going to be an epic game of Rugby Sevens. But thank you all very much for tuning in. Do let me know your score predictions in the comments down below, as well as who you think will be the key players throughout this contest too. But thank you all very much for tuning in, and I will see you all for the next one.